What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Emu. All these schools are interested in you at QB, Tubby. It'd be fucking awesome. Minnesota, Iowa State. I thought I had to choose. I didn't realize this was just a menu. And uh, so uh, Big Daddy over here clicks Minnesota being like, okay. And, uh, oh, choose the school. Oh, you can choose them. All right. So the first three episodes were live commentaries. And... Well, I plan on keep doing the series. I filmed it all the way up to making it to the eighth week of college so far. Not going to give any spoilers to what school I went with. But the first three episodes were live because I didn't know how I was going to do episodes four through how many ever I do. Because the problem is games tend to be very long. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of criticizing me for not playing defense and not knowing what I was doing when I was simming. I, I've got it under control now. In the later episodes, I know exactly what I'm doing. And actually, what my player is going to be doing, Tubby motherfucking Emu, is going to be losing weight throughout the season, and he's going to get down to a goal weight of 245, 250, somewhere in there. Now, went a little far in the first one. I probably should only cut down a little bit, as I'm kind of changing my appearance here. But the problem that I was having with recording everything live is I didn't know how much I was going to have to cut out what's going to be boring, what's not, and you know what, I figured, why not just go through and, you know, record as much as I can, if you guys want to watch it, that's great, if you don't, maybe I'll just put a link in the description so you can skip ahead to game time or, you know, to certain parts of the video, I'm not sure how that's going to work, let me know what you guys want to see, uh, but the one thing I can tell you, I'm not a huge fan of playing defense, and I'm sorry for that, it's just in all do in football games, it's the AI system that I have a problem with. And I've just had this mentality when it comes to playing defense that I usually always just rush. I just get in there and just blitz the shit out of them. And sometimes it backfires because sometimes I throw a long bomb. Sometimes it works out. And I just have that mentality. And to keep doing that constantly... I don't really want a defensive player. Now, I'm sorry for that. I'm just telling you now, throughout my high school career, I don't think I had any too much gameplay from a defensive standpoint. Now, from the offensive standpoint, the one thing that's really been kind of humbling to me that when you go into college, you don't have the power to audible every motherfucking play. And it's something that annoys the shit out of me, but at the same time, it makes sense. You know, if you're a fresh QB, first string, you know, you're working your way up from third string, you finally get there. A coach isn't going to let you go out and command the game. You know, the coach is going to, you're going to be running the plays they choose. So I completely understand it versus high school where my uh, tubby emu is just dominating and, you know, always audibling the play because running plays don't help me advance in my career at all. They just don't because I don't have anything. And I think that was one of the weirdest things to get used to in college was, let's say Tubby was a third string, being the um, point after attempt or field goal kicker, the holder. And so some of the games are really fucking boring where it's simming. It's literally me just, uh, okay, huh, and it just holds in. I don't even get to snap the ball. So it's like, what the fuck? But you have to work up, you know, to get to you becoming first string. I finally managed to do it after eight weeks, and uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, let's just say my first game may not have won as great as I was hoping it to be. Uh, some people had, had asked me about why the high school keeps changing names. Like, well, I thought it was the old Aves. I don't know what's going on with this game for NCAA 12, why it's changing the football team sports names. I don't know. Uh, one thing that I am a huge fan of is the fact that they actually the players actually have names instead of numbers. Now, I know they do this in college, you know, because it's not like the pros where they're, it's paid endorsements and, you know, they're making money because in college you're not allowed to make money from it other than scholarships and there's actually rules and people, schools have gotten in trouble for, you know, the agents trying to go after the players, accepting gifts, payments, whatever, you know, so for college they keep it, they keep it legit or they try to or else people just haven't got caught now the problem that was bugging me with that was and I don't know if it was really so much of a problem 
as I just I didn't like the numbers. I, I wanted to see names like in the NFL, you know, because I'd see these guys that I normally watch on TV, and it's always like, oh wait, who is that again? Oh number, I don't know numbers, I know names. Oh okay, that's what it is. Um, I really do miss. I get a safety here. Tubby gets a safety because I'm an idiot and I did not pass the goddamn ball. That happens sometimes in uh, some of these episodes, and it's kind of funny because I'm sitting there playing, and I'm like, okay, all right, Tubby, you got to do this. And I think the biggest problem that I've had so far when it comes to practices in college or you know just playing games is the fact that I have a tendency, because back when I used to play Madden and some other games, I would always have quarterbacks that you know got out of the pocket that were either runners like Vince Young, uh, Michael Vick, guys that were athletic and they didn't stay in the pocket, you know, like Brett Favre or um, well, Donovan McNabb runs a little bit. I was trying to think of somebody else. Guys that really don't run with the ball. And I like to have a quarterback that does run with the ball now. Obviously, in the first two episodes, it looked really stupid because my QB is fucking huge. But Tubby Emu likes to rush the ball. It's just the way it goes. He wants to run, and sometimes it backfires completely because I don't stay in the pocket. Now... The problem that I've been having was I almost broke my fucking controller in practice because my, my wide receivers just would not catch it. See, right there, it was perfect, great pass. The guy caught it. In practices in college, it, you get very annoyed very fast because the guys just don't catch the ball sometimes. And I was trying to figure out why the fuck it kept picking slant routes. If there's anything I hate more in this world in NCAA 12, then it's just slant routes. You know, not the actual, you know, the post routes to the, you know, the corner or, you know, some smaller, po it's the smaller post routes that just, they just go right there. You know, not post routes. Uh, what did I just call them? Slant routes. You know, where they just, it's basically they go five yard out and then they cut over. And so that's what I'm talking about right there. I got out of the pocket. I went way too far back and they resulted in a huge fucking sack. That's probably going to happen a lot in the season. But I'm also, because I'm audibling every play, pretty much, except for a few of them, I'm going to get a lot of passing yards, and I'm going to do pretty well. I may not have the best uh, accuracy rating, but it's going to go it's gonna go somewhat decent. So you're going to see the first quarter right here. Um, I'm pretty sure in the next episode, I pretty much skip to the end of the game to the highlights. If uh, you guys would want to just see the whole game, just to kind of watch it, and you don't want me to splice anything out, Leave a comment in the section below. Whatever gets more responses, I'll do it. Because it's for you guys. Because I'll I make stuff for the nation. And we're fucking awesome in life. And um, go Eau Claire High School. Even though that looks nothing like Eau Claire's High School. Look at my running back. Marshall's an absolute fucking beast. Before I knew I could audible every play. This guy was just going on a roll. I call it timeout. Not sure why. I must have thought it was the second quarter right there. Because, you know, when you play exhibition games or two to three minute games versus in here, it's five minutes. So it takes a little while to get used to. But Tubby Emu and Eau Claire scores, guys. I will see you back in the next part. My name is Tubby Emu. Peace out.